I hear all the time from HIV patients how much they would like to have a cure just because of the stigma associated with being HIV infected. Just to be able to live a day-to-day -day life without taking any medicine. A bunch of years ago at a conference, we started talking about curing AIDS. And this was a time when saying that out loud was like, taboo, you're crazy. A group of us decided to try to work together. And over time, this became an NIH-funded effort. When we started to talk to GSK, they suggested another approach that would be more engaged between the public structure, UNC, and the private structures. I am so proud to announce an exciting new partnership. It's a first-of-its-kind joint venture between UNC Chapel Hill and GlaxoSmithKline, creating an HIV cure center and a new company called Cura Therapeutics. Trying to find a cure for HIV, a massively difficult, complex mission, and it's one that GSK has teamed up with UNC to bring together the best of industry and academia to see what we can do to try and make real progress on something that is the great next frontier in terms of HIV treatment. GSK scientists and UNC scientists work shoulder to shoulder in the laboratory. Project teams are led by both organizations. Professor Margolis and myself work very closely on a daily basis overseeing what's going on in the Cure Center and the Cure Therapeutics environment. It's great to be at a place where you feel that people want you to succeed and people want to help you and very open to working together in collaboration. I think it's an institutional tradition. And part of it, I think, comes from a feeling of pride of the university and its role in the community and the state. By definition, when you do something that is very, very different, you're going to encounter things that is unexpected. But none of us are naive enough to think all of this is going to be very easy. But I think the fact that we work through this process, the relationship is getting stronger and stronger by the day, is a very good sign. There's a courage involved that needs to be emphasized. That courage is the courage of GSK to believe that they can work in this space and make a contribution. There is the focus on the courage of the translational investigators, because this is very difficult work. And then the study subjects, the patients. Huge altruism, Cura works because of the courage of these three groups. It's not the scientific problem that's solved by people locking themselves in rooms and just looking at what they know. It's about partnership, sharing, openness, getting the best brains together, bringing people from different disciplines together to try and tackle this big problem. And that's what Cura is about. I think you have to sort of get down to what really matters. And what really matters is if you make a difference. And if you've decided to do something, it's never as easy as it looks when you start. If I'm a young scientist and getting into a career decision to see what do I want to do, and I would like to go to ask myself the question, what is the biggest challenge in the century that will be so rewarding and will be so impactful? If you ask those questions, you find that curing HIV is perhaps one of the very few that rise to the top. I think it's exciting to be in the field right now because I think the whole world is really galvanized towards finding a cure for HIV infection. The one thing I'd like people to remember about this collaboration is we're here for the patients. We've really put together the best strategies, the best minds, and the best science to address an extremely difficult challenge.